to be the z direction instead of the, the y so i'll move that down like that and i think this is a good place uh, to remove uh, those extra loops we don't want so this is that merge that to the center Like that to the center. Like that to the center. Come here. Center. 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 I'll be breaking this live stream into shorter videos uh, that I will upload later so that if uh, you just want to watch shorter clips, you can do that because I think this is uh, about uh, two hours if you include the first part. Nice. Center. If I isolate this object, select this and this, my to the center, select this and this, center, center, center. I think I need. and this this and that this and this so we have that and I think if we selected this loop here and this loop you can extrude that along normals let's see if that would work yeah i think that is better uh, we just need to fix a few issues here so this here can be can push that back like that and I think if we select this loop here can be that uh, thing here so if we push this along uh, using alt s which is on its normal uh, we can also bevel that maybe two loops like so that's of, co of course we have a few issues so we can select those points that are protruding out let's see if we move them on their vertices what happens i think that's not too bad but uh hmm. let's first undo and see what's happening here we have a few issues here uh, that we need to first solve uh, before we use uh, the bevel tool so come in uh, make sure there is good separation between the these vertices So we need to go around 
and remove separate these these intersecting vertices I could, because if you don't uh, your bevel is going to be messed up so Do we need these extra loops? So if I if I delete dissolve that edge loop, this is what we have. Because I'm thinking maybe we'd, this is this is an ex, these are edge loops we can do without. So let's see if we just get rid of them, unless of course it's going all the way like that. So there's also this vertex here. So be careful so that you don't delete as such loops. I just delete I think we can dissolve uh, the vertex up to there. And now we can join this like that, connect that like that. But uh, this, this here can be removed. Mm, control X. Control X. I think in some areas it's okay to just separate them instead of are getting rid of them completely. It depend on what you want. But uh, where they're too much and uh, like this area where it, like, where they are not going through, other areas uh, we can just dissolve them like that. I think we can also merge this with this. So that we only have one edge loop like that. Come here. We need to do the same for this. Actually, maybe can match this with this. Come into the center like that. Come into this. that Let me turn on some music here.
and now we can add we can bevel this edge loop now and we see you can see what issues we might run to and And control B. And we have that. See what about here? Can we add a loop? Can we? I think we need a supporting loop uh, to make this side uh, a bit sharp. So if we join this to this, this is there an easier way to do this. I think we'll just use a texture for that area. This. this so this is our handbag right now this is how it looks I think uh, this other side I don't know can we just use a mirror can we get away with a mirror modifier for this area or does it need to extend so let's uh, first remove this I think we need a loop that starts from here, goes all the way. So we need to start from there uh, to 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 there. Extrude can add a supporting loop there and then extrude again and then s flatten this in that direction and I think we can join uh, these two so select this and this control J to join them now we just need to merge these loops center shift R to repeat the same step this and this 